Hi, this is RC. Welcome to the Lightroom 2 podcast. I want to spend some time talking about how to be able to create templates that you can use inside of the print module of Lightroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Now I have, let's say, this image selected here. And what I want to do is I want to be able to make sure that I print this image on a 13 by 19 paper. So the best way for me to do that is just to go over here to the page setup section and make sure that I have the correct printer that I'm going to be printing to as well as the correct size of the print of the paper that I want to use. So once I have that set, I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. The next thing that I want to do from here is I want to make sure that I have the appropriate margins for this. So right now I have this set up as a one inch margin all around and what I have set up under the grid is I have a three row, three column. I am only printing one image. So I want to make sure that I bring that to one row and bring that to one column. Now, the next thing that I want to take a look at here is the cell size. Notice that I can drag this to expand it, but it will only drag as far as it needs to proportionally. Notice that as soon as this gets to a specific size, it rotates. That's based on this rotate to fit that I have here. If I have that unchecked, then it won't do that. It won't automatically rotate. So right now I can drag this all the way up, but that's about as far as this can size based on the proportions. If I want this to get a little bit bigger, I'd have to drag the width of this as well. So notice it's a constant playing around here. Now I wanted this picture to kind of print this way. I wanted it to print landscape rather than portrait. So right now it's not doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to the page setup section. And inside here, I'll go ahead and I'll switch the orientation. Having the orientation set, now it works a little bit better. But notice that if I wanted to print 17 by, let's say, 11, I couldn't do that. I'd have to decrease this so that it either gets into that one frame or what I could do is I can select my zoom to fill and it'll zoom to fill whatever size I have set up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease this and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this a let's say 17 by 11. Notice that when I try to do that it tells me look you can't do that based on the margins that you have here. So it they all interplay with one another. If I take all of these margins down I should be able to get to 17 by 11. Now Notice that that still doesn't print to the size of the cell. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll select my zoom to fill. And now this works well. So now I have an 11 by 17 on a 13 by 19 sheet. I don't want to have to do this over and over again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this up as a template. So the best way for me to be able to do this is I'm going to go over here where it says template browser and I'm going to click on this plus sign. Clicking on this plus sign, I have the option to be able to give it a name and to show the folder that I want to save it in. So I'm going to call this 11 by 17 on 13x19 paper. And I'll click on create. So now I have that set up. What I can do from here though is let's go ahead and change this profile. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to switch this to Red River Arctic Polar Luster, and I'm going to set this to relative. Take a look at this. I'm going to save it also, and I'm going to call this 13 by 19 on, actually, 11 by 17 on 13 by 19 paper. And then I'm going to call it Red River Arctic. Now, if I take a look at this one, notice that this one has a different color profile. This one uses the Red River Arctic Polar Luster. So if you're using specific paper types, it's also a good idea for you to be able to set up a template with ICC profiles exactly the way that you would need them. So it's pretty straightforward. You set up all of your settings here, and then from there, you turn around and just click on the plus sign to add the specific user template. If I want to remove one of the presets, I can go ahead and just click on the minus sign. Once I have it highlighted, I can click on the minus side and it's taken care of. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to set up a picture package. 
And now let's just say that I want to take this picture package and I want one eight by 10, two two and a half by three and a halfs, and three three by sevens. Once I have that all set, I can come over here and go to the template browser and I'm going to type in picture package one for MPix. And I'm going to click on create. Now that I have that all set, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to clear this layout and I'm going to select this image. Once I have that set, I'm going to click on the picture package for MPix. And notice that it automatically sets up the picture package that I have preset. So it's not something that you necessarily need to do from a paper that you're going to send to a printer only. You can also do this with picture packages. So play around with these, make sure that you customize them because it only takes a couple of extra steps in the beginning, but they do help out quite a bit. My name's RC, thanks for watching.